We're heading west on Highway 106. We came out of Eminence, Missouri and went a couple miles, uh, maybe maybe three miles, I'm not sure. <laughs> and we'll be coming up on the property on the left side of the road. That is Elk Ridge on the left. And we'll be getting close to tract 11 in just a few seconds. On the straight part of the road, we're going to see, uh, see an existing approach. There it is. And we'll pull in on that approach. I believe the approach is actually on... I'm sorry, I kept saying track 11. We're, we're looking at track 10. Wait, is that right? <laughs> yes, we're looking at track 10. I guess I got confused. So we just pulled on to track 11, but actually I wanted to check out track 10 today. I don't recall now if I said 10 or 11, but we are we are definitely looking at track 10. The approach was just barely on track 11. As we pulled off and took a right, you can see some ribbons there, and those indicate that we were on track 10 now. Track 10 has quite a bit of frontage on the highway. It's got about 400 feet of frontage. You're welcome to put in your own approach if you want to. It's fairly straight here and flat. Uh, drops a little bit coming off the road um, but you do have an easement to use that existing approach and also if you would go down a few hundred more yards there's another approach uh, and this is kind of a, uh, a just a, a frontage road I guess although it's not a public road necessarily uh, this is a good way to access some of these tracks if you want to get off the highway so we are on track 10 And as I look to the south, uh, you'll see a nice mix of trees. Oak, pine, cedar, many different types of trees out here. Wild blackberries, uh, pretty cool. So we're looking basically to the south, and it slopes down uh, more gently than some of the other ones here. If you were to get in here with a skid loader or a chainsaw, you could clear uh, a fairly good size spot for building or camping. Uh, and the property obviously slopes down, and then you can see that ridge off in the distance. It slopes up to that ridge. It's got a flat area there, and I believe it slopes up and down again at least one more time. Large, large property. Um, but it is, uh, I believe, over 400 feet wide. So you've got a lot of room to play with uh, if you wanted a, a really private area. You can hear a motorcycle going by. <laughs> it's not a high traffic uh, area, but it is the summertime, and this is a popular area in the summer. We've got rivers everywhere national forest, trail rides in eminence. Uh, there's a lot going on here in the summertime. <clears throat> now I've mentioned it on other videos, I'm sure, but Elk Ridge does have uh, an existing system of trails, which is for the use of the property owners. Um, several miles of trails that you can use to access other parts of your property. Uh, so these are not uh, car or truck trails. These are, are low, low traffic. They're for four-wheelers. They're for side-by-sides. Uh, the idea being on, on this tract, on tract 10, for instance, you could, uh, you could do like I did and, and throw a, a four-wheeler in the back of your truck, uh, park it right there on the north part of the property, and then unload your four-wheeler, and you can take the trails to access other parts of the property. Uh, you're certainly willing to, you're certainly able to put in your own trails. Um, and obviously if you put in your own trails, they would be private. They wouldn't be for, for shared use. But in the meantime, or if you just want to keep it simple, uh, you can use these existing trails, um, which makes it pretty easy to explore the rest of the property, either on foot or on a four-wheeler. <coughs> Excuse me. 
even if you have a car, uh, you can rent four wheelers, you can rent trailers. Even a small car or a mid-sized car can pretty easily handle a, a little trailer with a couple four wheelers on it. That doesn't add too much weight. So really nice opportunity here to get a piece of acreage uh, with paved frontage with power on it, directly on it. We're, you know, five minutes or less from Eminence, which is a, a really usable little town with some stores and restaurants. Um, kind of a, a town that I guess comes alive in the summertime uh, when this area gets uh, gets a lot of visiting visitors <laughs> from across the country. Um, but I mean, this this is a good year-round property because you've got different hunting seasons out here. You can you can camp uh, when you like. Our winters are fairly mild out here. Um, you can certainly build. A lot of different options on this one. And I, I kind of like the topography. The, the last couple uh, that I looked at out here were very steep off the road. But this one, uh, I wouldn't say it's level off the road, but it, it's, it's very reasonable. I mean, this we could easily turn this into a building site or, a, or just a huge parking area. Nice property. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a good chance to get into a, a piece of acreage uh, inexpensively as I compete with uh, the noise of that dump truck. Can get If you really look off in the distance, you can get an, an idea of that awesome view to the south. If some of the smaller timber were cleared out, uh, that would be just a, a stunning view from the property. This was logged four or five years ago. We've already got some fairly good growth coming back and uh, it's going to obviously uh, improve every year as the trees get a little bigger and bigger. I'm trying to catch that view because I have a feeling there are some spots on this property where that view would be great. If you look through the trees, get a little hint of that view. And I, I'm going to assume from that ridge that's further south on the property, there would be a spectacular view as well. Nice one. Good usable property. So that's tracked 10 at Elk Ridge. <laughs> 